Through studying the concept of belonging, the respondent is given an advanced understanding of varying aspects in the Australian society of today. Strictly Ballroom, directed by Baz Luhrmann, is the story of Scott Hastings and his pursuit to find balance between individuality, acceptance and conformity. An Australian film set in the harsh and competitive world of ballroom dancing is where Scott realises he does not wish to perform with his peers. Scott Hastings is one of Australia's best ballroom dancers who is targeted in a championship. It is until he gives up the Federation steps in favour of his own that he must conquer his fear of ridicule. And it went a little something like this. As the Strictly Ballroom plot is established, the audience views Scott's rebellion against his peers, dancers and family, in addition to retreating to Fran, a beginner dancer. His determination to develop his relationship with Fran is a predominant theme throughout the Coca-Cola dance scene. The use of close-ups of Fran and Scott illustrate their growing correlation of intimacy whilst wrestling conformity and belonging. Medium shots are taken of Fran and Scott dancing whilst moving to a slow romantic beat. This is then used in juxtaposition with Doug who is dancing in a different style to a fast paced tune. The camera pans down from the rooftop where Fran and Scott were featured dancing to the studio room where Doug is dancing his own moves. This technique draws the parallels between Fran and Scott and Doug, each with the desires to dance their own way and expressing their individuality rather than their skills, where you must conform to the rules. There is also present a connection between all three characters. Though Doug is portrayed isolated, the film techniques have been manipulated to highlight their desire to dance from the heart. The low lighting on the rooftop is used to contrast Fran and Scott with the bright, harsh lighting used in the dance competitions and the spotlights included in the dance studios, which Doug is dancing below. The lighting is also used to strongly emphasise the other characters' heavy makeup, costumes and artificial natures, whereas Fran is demonstrated in the scene to be content with her individual self. She is seen to be refusing to conform to her peer dancers' expectations. The Pan Pacific Championship scene begins with low angle shots used to demonstrate Scott's rebellion as he chases Fran who is attempting to leave the artificial competition. Close up shots of Fran and Scott in an earnest conversation are later used to capture their emotions through their both dialogue and demonstration. When Fran explains to Scott that she has returned to the beginner's class where she belongs, the audience realizes their intense conversation has finally allowed them to share their true feelings and the struggle to rebuke living in life and fear. In this scene, not only the enormity of Scott's decision to dance his own steps is emphasized, but the responder views he and Fran's connection and the reconstruction of he and his father's relationship. Throughout the scene, there are various references to Scott and Doug in conversation. Close-up shots are taken of the father and son as a way of demonstrating their reconnection while learning to accept each other and respect each other for being individual. Towards the conclusion of the scene, Doug is again revealed in close-up shots as he supports Scott in his performance. This reference to Doug is a way of assuring their mended relationship and his encouragement of Scott's pursuit to be different. Doug Settlement, We Lived Our Fears in Fear, is another technique Lerman has used to evoke Doug's dissimilarity and support for Scott's courage.
one, but no one's gonna change that. As Scott enters the dance floor in costume, sliding on his knees, captured in a medium pan shot, although the shot is broken up with close up shots of Barry Fife and Ken's disconcerted faces. The broken up shot introductory of both Barry and Ken is a technique used to create suspense within the audience. The music changes to a suspenseful tune and the lighting is dim with the spotlight behind Scott's head demonstrating he adds the focus of the dance floor. The dim lighting is used in contrast to the bright competition lights. There's a medium shot of Scott bows his friend's feet. The camera zooms out to a long shot capturing the beginning of their dance. The couple's moves are captured in slow motion allowing the audience to release to realize the improvement of the capability to dance together using their own steps. The couple's costumes are also highlighted. The traditional dance were demonstrating their strong relationship and rejection of Federation expectations. The Spanish music that is used creates a contrast to the usual competition music. This is another technique used to highlight Scott and Fran's individuality. <laughs> ballroom thing and we got cornered so I did what I had to do like LeBron James to put the team on my back I busted out my fancy dance moves some people might not agree with it others might not like it but in my opinion I did what I had to do my partner she wasn't a big fan but at the end of the day you know we finished the dance you know she might not want to ever dance with me but you know what I'll find another partner you know what better yet I'll dance by myself I don't need a partner ballroom dancing no Dancing, that's what I do. I am a dancer. Killed. I'm so angry. What did he do? What is he thinking? Like, he just ruined us, ruined our reputation. We were going to win that. We could have won, won that whole competition. And he just went out and danced his own moves. What was he thinking? So unreliable. It's just so unreliable. It's so unfair. I just, I'm, I'm never going to dance with him ever again. I can't believe it. I'm just, he destroyed us. Our, our reputation is gone. It's gone forever. Never again.